Hey dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on seeking the favor of God. Psalm 90:17 reads as Let the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. This psalm was written by Moses who had the habit of seeking the favor of God. God does not show favoritism, but in scripture and in our life we come across persons who are definitely different from others in experiencing the favor of God in their lives. If we have the favor of God, should we require anything else? When we have the favor of God, we will be God's channel of real blessing to others. We cannot influence God to receive his favor, but we can work on our lives to make it pleasing and acceptable in his sight. We will look at four biblical characters who found favor in their lives and will try to derive some valuable lessons from them. Our first character is Mary. In Luke 1:30 we read angel saying to Mary that she found favor in the sight of God. When confronted with opportunity that could affect her future, she accepted the realities of life and humbled herself for the fulfillment of his will in her life. To be humble would mean having a good understanding of our weaknesses and defects, despising no one and not being arrogant. In 1 Peter 5:5 we read that God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humility draws us nearer to God. The second character is Abel. In Genesis 4:4 we read as that the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Cain brought a random offering but Abel gave the firstborn and best of his flocks. Abel received the favor for giving the best to God. Giving our best to God would mean giving God our total being, giving God first of everything, giving God our best talents, skills and knowledge. When we give priority to God and offer our best, God will be pleased by our life and our offerings. The next character we look at is Noah. In Genesis 6:8, we read that Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. What was the secret that brought the favor and good will of God to Noah? When the rest of the world was wicked, Noah kept his integrity. It is not easy to stand for God when no one else stands for him. Noah stood for obeying God in the midst of ungodly people and corrupt, wicked, sin-centric world. He had his life set apart for God and to walk with him. He was firm in his faith and committed to fear and obey God. even though the world was walking in the other direction when we stand for god he will not forsake us the final character we refer is moses in exodus 33:13 we read moses praying as teach me your ways so i may know you and continue to find favor with you we find moses praying god to let him know his way so that he may be pleasing to him in colossians 1 9 and 10 we read how earnestly apostle paul prays for the believers to increase in the knowledge of god god's ways are higher than our ways and it is only fitting for us to ask him to reveal his ways to us our closeness with god is proportional to our knowledge about him We spend our lifetime looking for the favor of other persons but when was the last time we thought about seeking the favor of God let us pray 
our father in heaven help us to be humble enable us to give our best to you help us to stand for you in this evil world and give us grace to understand your ways and will in jesus name pray pray amen thank you for listening god bless you